Well, I have a degree in engineering uh, from Cambridge many, many moons ago, and um, I always wanted to be a pilot, but back in the 1970s when I went to university, the RAF wouldn't take uh, women pilots, and British Airways had just closed their training school down, so I had to find work elsewhere. I'm now trying to cram in 30 years that I've missed uh, previously. Farnborough Air Show is enormous and it's just got everything here and it's also got, you know, when you have something big, it's exciting to be in. So what I think is very important, uh, which also involves future, Futures Day, is that young people feel that aviation is important. They do, you know, anyone who goes to an airport gets that sort of thrill, oh, woo, go to the airport, you know, still today. Uh, there's that thrill, I'm going on oh, an airplane. Um, and Farnborough is it on a much greater level. And obviously there are lots of things that are available that, that then sort of take that thrill and teach them something. And hopefully we need millions more engineers in this country and technologists in the next 10 years. And hopefully Farnborough does its bit towards uh, you know, inspiring those young people. I always wanted to be a pilot, even though I'd never flown, and I had, uh, I didn't know anybody who'd flown, actually. I think I was very lucky, because I was born in 1960, and in that period of the 60s, we had the Apollos, we had the first landing on the moon, Concorde took off, and it was beyond glamorous and exciting. It was just awe-inspiring. That's why I know that this sort of essence of inspiration is very important. So that's why hopefully at Farnborough, you know, when they watch the red arrows going past or the typhoon, the Eurofighter being displayed, you know, it's quite, it's quite, oh, I'm here watching this, who'd have thought it? So hopefully it's that level of inspiration that will send them onwards too. Uh, yes, this afternoon, I've been working this morning, so this afternoon, um, we fly a, a little single engine plane at the moment, which is beautiful, it's a Diamond DA-40 and there's a Diamond stand here and then I want to go around obviously the Airbus and the BAE, want to look at the helmet technology, they've got an incredible stand over there. Uh, so lots and lots of things, my feet will be worn out by the time we finish. Air Airshow is massive, it is exciting, it's brilliantly put together and it's, I should hope, becomes a compulsory day out for many, many, many families.